In the years that followed the mission in Mogadishu, little effort was made to understand it. Sensational news stories pushed public opinion to call it a failure, but they were wrong. We took casualties on October 3rd and 4th, but we still completed the mission to capture Adid's lieutenants. Despite the odds, we fought well and kept our losses low, a testament to our training and bravery. When politics took over, we were pulled from Somalia. Most of us wanted to stay and capture a man who used guns and starvation to hold power, but the decision had been made. Today, Somalia is still trying to unify, and control of Mogadishu is contested by warring clans. Somalia is reeling from years of famine and constant fighting between clans. 300,000 are reported dead. There is no central government. The U.S. Army's 10th Mountain Division deploys to the region as part of a multinational peacekeeping force. Mohamed Farrar Adid, militia leader of the Habergada clan, orders an attack on a UN relief shipment, killing 24 Pakistani soldiers. In response to the continued Habergada threat, Task Force Ranger is sent to Mogadishu with the sole purpose of capturing Adid. This force is comprised of U.S. Army Rangers and operators from the 1st Special Forces Operational Detachment, Delta, an elite fighting unit also known as Delta Force. On October 3rd, we got intel that two of Adid's lieutenants would be ripe for a snatch and grab. We all knew our roles. Four Ranger Chocks would pull security while Delta operators grabbed the principals. If everything went right, we'd be in and out in less than 30 minutes. By 1535 hours, we were geared up and waiting to hear the go code, Irene. Little did we know that Operation Restore Hope was about to secure its place in history. 